I was just at the beginning of developing the sound with the cello. I was experimenting with my voice and cello together, singing and playing at the same time. What originally brought Asha and I together is our affinity for strings and then eventually electronics. And I want to show you my violin. It's a five string electroacoustic black violin. It has built in electronics. I have a pickup on it that I would run through effects and EQs and um, I'd be sampling it and looping it, creating rhythms and textures, harmonized pads. I love the warm, luscious tone of the cello. I have to agree with Asha, the sound of the cello is just one of my favorite instruments, but I absolutely love writing for violin, viola, and cello, and a lot of my compositions feature a string trio. And I just love the warmth of string instruments combined with electronics. And when I perform, I use the term one woman orchestra when I'm doing a solo show because I'm triggering the pre-recorded string samples live in Ableton and then performing live violin on top of all of that. I wanted all the sound to come from this instrument here and for my voice. I was very, yeah, dogmatic, but that started to change in 2018 when Hannah came uh, to Berlin. I came to Berlin for Tech Open Air in 2018. I was invited to be a guest presenter and I did my Deep Sonos project, which is a chill live PA project with electronics and violin and vocals performed live. And it's this very immersive audio experience. And so I invited Asha to be part of the convention as my special guest. And then I urged her to apply for the following year. <laughs> I was pretty inspired and blown away. Hannah had opened the door to music tech and in 2019 I ended up presenting a workshop and winning a MK3 Machina from Native Instruments at a battle of sounds at Tech Open Air. It's incredible what your mom's agency had organized um, and I thought, okay, this is it. This is where my, my dogma is broken, like Hannah broke my, my dogma. The song Selly that Asha and I collaborated on started off as a song start. So I basically created a very sparse, bare bones composition uh, with a lot of room for collaboration. Yeah, I totally fell in love with that haunting sound that um, Hannah sent me. And I thought, oh, this will be perfect. I will. I started to record harmonics on the cello, these like really high tones, really high, high eerie soft tones. We're merging our vocals and strings into this world of electronics so that the lines are blurred. And having layers of pitch voices. So going for a more of like this synthesized sound. So I was mixing the track, kind of thinking of putting it into a sphere so that it feels really immersive and enveloping. And I wanted this track, we both agreed on this, that we wanted it to feel like the desert. The hot sun is streaming and beaming down on you and life is ephemeral, like sand sifting through your fingers. I think Hannah's telling me that it's time to get to LA and to go to the deserts outside of LA. We are long overdue for a catch up. You know, this pandemic has um, kind of created a lot of distance between us all, but it also has brought Asha and I even closer together and into this process of collaborating, submitting this track to EXP platform, winning a micro grant, and inspiring this beautiful EP collaboration that we are in the process of creating.